Welcome to Amazing Life One Channel Guides today. You watching Christina Aguilera American. Singer, songwriter and actress lifestyle, biography and beautiful photos. I hope you enjoy this video. Like, share, subscribe channel. Thank you for watching video your favorite actress, model, singer. Celebrity biography. Photos, images. If you want to see, please comment. Starting. Christina Aguilera biography. Born on the 18th of December 1980. Christina Aguilera's age is 42 years old as of 2023. Her birthplace is Staten Island in New York, United States, where she grew up and spent her childhood with her siblings. She is currently residing in New York. Christina is an American citizen. She follows the religion of Roman Catholicism. Christian Christina went to a local school to complete her early education. She then went to Rochester Area School District, Marshall Middle School near Wexford, after there, she went to North Allegheny Intermediate High School. However, she dropped out of her school due to facing bullying and continued the rest of her education by H-O-M-E-S-C-H-O-O-L-I-N-G dot family, husband and relationships. Christina Aguilera's parents are Fausto and Shelley. Christina was born to U.S. Army soldier Fausto Xavier Aguilera father. Her mother is Shelley Lorraine Nee Feidler. Shelly is a musician. Christina has four siblings, two brothers, and two sisters. Her brothers are Michael Kearns Aguilera and Casey Kearns Aguilera. Her sisters are Rachel Aguilera and Stephanie Kearns. Christina is currently engaged to Matthew Rutler. She was in a relationship with him since 2011 and eventually decided to get their engagement done on 2014's Valentine's Day. They conceived their first child, a daughter, in 2014. She was named Summer Rain Rutler. She previously was married to marketing executive Jordan Bratman, with whom she welcomed her son Max Leary. However, things didn't work out between them, and they got divorced in 2011. She also had her name tangled with Enrique Iglesias 1999, after Scott Stork 2000, Fred Durst 1999, Dallas Austin 2000, Dave Grohl 2002, Carson Daly 2002, AJ Popoff 2000. Jorge Santos, 2001, previously physical. Appearance, Christina Aguilera is a beautiful and iconic singer, songwriter, and artist. She stands five feet one and a half in 156 centimeters tall. She keeps herself in a healthy workout and a healthy diet plan. She weighs around 50 kilograms, 110 pounds. She has a slim and athletic build with a raunchy physique. She has beautiful platinum blonde hair. Her eyes are piercing blue in color contact lens and also has naturally brown eyes. Christina's body measurements are breast size of 38 inches, a waist size of 23 inches, and hips are of 33 inches. She is a heterosexual straight female. Her star sign is Sagittarius. She wears a US size 8 dress U size 40 and UK size 12. She wears 30 for size bras and requires DD sized cups. She wears US size 7 shoes, EU size 37.5, and UK size 5. She is a white Caucasian female with a multiracial heritage. Career 19801998. Early life and career beginnings Christina Maria Aguilera was born in Staten Island, New York City on December 18, 1980. The eldest of two daughters to musician Shelley Lorraine Kearns, Nee Feidler, and United States Army. Soldier Fausto Xavier Aguilera. Her father was born in Ecuador, and her mother has German, Irish, Welsh, and Dutch ancestry. Her family moved frequently because of her father's military service, and lived in places including New Jersey, Texas, New York, and Japan. Aguilera stated that her father was physically and emotionally abusive. To cope with her turbulent household, she used music as a form of escape. Following her parents' divorce when she was six years old, Aguilera, her younger sister Rachel, and her mother moved into her grandmother's home in Rochester, a suburb in the Pittsburgh area. Her mother later remarried to Jim Kearns and had a son with him named Michael. After years of estrangement, Aguilera expressed interest in reconciling with her father in 2012. As a child, Aguilera was drawn to soul and blues records her grandmother, bought and would practice singing, which earned her a reputation as the little girl with the big voice in her neighborhood. She aspired to be a singer and won her first talent show at age eight with a rendition of Whitney Houston's I Wanna Dance with somebody who loves me at age 10. 
She performed a Sunday kind of love on the competition show Star Search and was eliminated during the semi-final round. She performed the song again on KDKA TV's Wake Up with Larry Rickard. During her youth in the Pittsburgh area, Aguilera sang the U.S. National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. Before Pittsburgh Penguins hockey, Pittsburgh Steelers football, and Pittsburgh Pirates baseball, games, and the 1990 to Stanley Cup Finals. She attended Rochester Area School District in Rochester and Marshall Middle School near Wexford and briefly attended North Allegheny Intermediate High School before being homeschooled to avoid being bullied. In 1991, Aguilera auditioned for a position on the Mickey Mouse Club. Although she did not meet its age requirements, she joined the television series two years later, where she performed musical numbers and sketch comedy until its cancellation in 1994. Fellow cast members included Ryan Gosling, Carrie Russell, Britney Spears, and Justin Timberlake. After the show ended, Aguilera moved to Japan and recorded her first song, All I Wanna Do, a duet with Japanese singer Kizo Nakanishi in 1998. Aguilera returned to the U.S. to seek a recording contract. She approached RCA Records, who told her to contact Disney instead because they were having financial difficulties. She sent her cover version of Whitney Houston's Run To You to Disney in hopes of being selected to record the theme song, Reflection. For their animated film Mulet, 1998, Aguilera was ultimately selected to sing Reflection. The song was released in June 1998 and charted on the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart at number 15, 1999 to 2001. Christina Aguilera, Mi Reflejo, and My Kind of Christmas After Reflection. Aguilera attracted the attention of RCA's under Ron Fair and was signed with the label quickly. Afterwards, RCA was pressured by the contemporary teen pop craze evoked by Aguilera's peer Britney Spears leading to the label rushing production of the album and aligning Aguilera to be part of the team. Pop Trend They released the lead single from the album, Genie in a Bottle, a trendy pop and rand track. In June 1999, the single rose Aguilera to stardom, peaking atop the US Billboard Hot 100 and charts of 20 other countries. It has sold over 7 million copies as of 2014. Aguilera's eponymous debut album followed in August 1999 and peaked at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200. It was certified eight times platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America (RIAA) and had moved 17 million copies worldwide by 2010. The album produced three other singles to U.S. number one singles: "What a Girl Wants" and "Come On Over Baby." All I want is you, and one U.S. top five single, "I Turn to You." a cover of all for one song. At the 42nd Annual Grammy Awards in February 2000, Aguilera won Best New Artist, Aguilera's to following studio albums, Mi Reflejo and My Kind of Christmas, were released in September and October 2000, respectively. The former, a Spanish language album consisting of re-recorded versions of tracks on Aguilera's debut album and several original songs topped the Billboard Top Latin Albums for 19 consecutive weeks and was certified six times. Platinum in the Latin field by the RIAA. It won Best Female Pop Vocal Album at the second annual Latin Grammy Awards in 2001. The latter contains covers of Christmas popular songs and a few original dance pop tunes and was certified platinum by the RIAA. In support of her albums, Aguilera embarked on her first concert tour. Christina Aguilera in concert from mid-2000 to early-2001. The tour visited North America, Europe, South America, and Japan. Billboard in 2000 recognized Aguilera as the top female pop act of the year. Despite the successes, Aguilera was displeased with the music and image her. Manager Steve Kurtz had aligned her too, feeling unable to control her own image in October 2000. She filed a fiduciary duty lawsuit against Kurtz for improper, undue, and inappropriate influence over her professional activities. After terminating Kurtz's services, RCA hired Irving Azoff as Aguilera's new manager. Aguilera took her first steps in artistic control with the cover of LaBelle's Lady Marmalade 1974 with Pink, Mia, and Lil' Kim for the Moulin Rouge soundtrack. RCA executives initially opposed to Aguilera recording Lady Marmalade because it was too urban, but Aguilera ultimately managed to 
record the song of her own accord. The collaboration topped the Billboard Hot 100 for five weeks, based on airplay alone, becoming the first airplay, only track in history, to remain on the chart's top spot for more than one week. It won Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals at the 44th Annual Grammy. Awards in mid-2001, Warlock Records released Just Be Free, a compilation of demo tracks Aguilera recorded in 1994 and 1995. When she was looking forward to an album release after the end of the Mickey Mouse Club, Aguilera filed a suit against Warlock Records and the album's producers to stop the release. The two parties came to a confidential settlement to release the album, in which Aguilera lent out her name, likeness, and image for an unspecified amount of damages, 2002-2003, stripped while working on her fourth studio album. Aguilera leaned toward a new artistic direction that she felt had more musical and lyrical depth. She named the album Stripped and explained that the title represented a new beginning, a reintroduction of herself as a new artist in a way. Aguilera served as the album's executive producer and co-wrote most of the songs to present her new persona. Aguilera released Dirty as the lead single from the album in September 2002. Its accompanying music video generated controversy for depicting overtly sexual fetishes. Aguilera's new image presented in the video was widely criticized by the public that it began to overshadow her music. She defended her new image, I'm in the power position, in complete command of everything and everybody around me, to be totally balls out like that is, for me, the measure of a true artist. Stripped was released in October 2002. The album incorporated various genres from rand and flamenco to rock and lyrically revolves around the theme of self-esteem while also discussing sex and gender equality. It received mixed reviews from music critics, who viewed the employment of various musical styles incoherent, but praised Aguilera's vocals. The album peaked at number two on the Billboard to 100 and has sold over for 0.3 million copies in the US as of 2014. In the UK, the album has sold to million copies as of 2017 and was the second highest selling album by an American female artist during the 2000s decade. Behind Nora Jones with Come Away With Me, by 2006, Stripped had sold over 12 million copies. Worldwide, the second single from the album, The Ballad Beautiful, received universal acclaim for its empowering lyrics about embracing inner beauty and became an anthem for the LGBT community. It was the album's best charting single, peaking at number two on the Billboard Hot 100. The song won Best Female Pop Vocal Performance at the 46th Annual Grammy Awards in 2004. Stripped was followed by three other singles, Fighter, Can't Hold Us Down, and The Voice Within, all of which were released in 2003 and entered the top 40 on the Billboard Hot 100. During promotion of Stripped, Aguilera cultivated a new image by adopting the alter ego Extina, dyeing her hair black and debuting several tattoos and piercings. She co-headlined the Justified and Strip tour alongside Justin Timberlake from June to September 2003 in support of Strip and Timberlake's album Justified 2002 before embarking on her solo Strip tour until December. Aguilera attended the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards in August, where she and Britney Spears kissed Madonna during their performance of Like a Virgin and Holly. Wood, which received considerable media attention. She was the host of the 2003 MTV Europe Music Awards, where she won Best Female Award. In November, Billboard announced Aguilera as the top female pop act of 2003, 2000 for 2 2009, Marriage, Back to Basics, and First Child in 2004. Aguilera recorded a revised version of Rose Royce's Car Wash 1976 with Missy Elliott for the animated film Shark tale in which she was a voice actress and contributed vocals to Nelly's single Tilt Ya Head Back. She was a featured artist on Herbie Hancock's 2005 cover of Leon Russell's A Song For You 1970, which was nominated for Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals at the 48th Annual Grammy Awards in February 2006. During this time, Aguilera started working on her follow-up studio album and embraced a new image inspired by figure majority of the album was inspired by Aguilera's marriage and incorporates elements of early 20th century soul, blues, and jazz. 
It reached number 6 on the Billboard Hot 100 and has sold 1.7 million digital copies in the US. As of 2014, its music video saw Aguilera debuting her new alter ego, Baby Jane, inspired by the thriller film Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, 1962. Christina Aguilera net worth $160 million Christina Aguilera, known as Christina Maria Aguilera is an American singer, songwriter, television personality, actress, and voiceover artist. As of 2023, Christina Aguilera's net worth is $160 million. She is also a television personality, actress, and voiceover artist. She reached the prominence of her career after she sang the song Genie in a Bottle, which was the title track of her debut album and namesake, Christina Aguilera. She is often labeled as voice of a generation. Her singing style is raw and with high vocals and high notes also. Known for her four octave vocal and she can sustain high notes for a long period. Christina's music falls under the soul, dance pop, rent, pop categories. Christina has been accoladed with multiple honors in her career, including five Grammys and plenty of other awards and nominations. She is also a Teton Golden Globe nominee. She also has a Hollywood Walk of Fame star engraved on her name. She is labeled as a pop culture icon, an LGBTQ icon, and a triple threat artist. She has been named Alma and inside 100 Most Influential People by Time Magazine in 2013. Christina is also an entrepreneur and a philanthropist and has so far contributed more than 1 million to various charities and charitable work in her career.